Hello everyone, CDNet here with another update from the Avalanche ecosystem. Today we're going to take a look at another app that's been around for a little while. Uh, it's going to be Elk Finance. Now this video will also be submitted for the Elk Season Community event. If you haven't joined yet, it's a good opportunity to earn a little bit of Elk uh, and get more connected with the Elk community. So you can still do that. I will leave the registration form in the comments. Uh, if you sign up and you use my uh, Twitter or Discord name as a reference, I think we both got some points, so that might be very nice. So, Elk is an AMM, and for this video, I'm going to assume that you are already fairly familiar with what an AMM is and how to use it, what liquidity mining is, etc. However, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'm more than happy to help. But rather, for this video, I want to focus on what makes Elk unique, what makes Elk stand out from the other AMMs we have on Avalanche. So the first thing that stands out is that Elk wants to be a multi-chain DEX, and next to Avalanche are also available on Matic, where I believe they already have quite a sizable community as well. Now next to Avalanche and Matic, they also want to launch on at least Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. But also if you look at their light paper, what I find really interesting is this little bit why Avalanche is kind of the main chain and I think it may hint and I do not know anything more about this So I could be completely wrong But I think it may hint at that Elk wants to launch as a subnet later on Also, if you look at their roadmap a little bit lower You will see that they plan to release a mainnet, which I think aligns with that observation So that's an interesting thing to keep in mind Now if you look at the setup of their farms, you'll notice that every token is paired with Elk and not to each other that means that every transaction is actually going through the ELK token. This is set up this way to enable cross-chain swaps more easily in the future. And this feature also plays into one of the most interesting features of ELK Finance, which is their impermanent loss protection. So every token pair or farm on ELK Finance has the ELK token in it, right? And what ELK Finance tries to do is basically securing your loss or covering your loss by releasing more ELK tokens to you. Now there's an entire section dedicated to how they will basically work around the, the price impact of that. Uh, currently it's in trial version until May 10th. So if you deposit right now at this very moment, you will not get any impermanent loss protection, but hopefully the trial goes well and we will see more and more and eventually a complete implementation of the impermanent loss protection, uh, which would be an extremely interesting and unique feature. Now this channel has already previously discussed the Moose NFTs, but just as a summary for this unique feature as well, Elk Finance has released 100 as of this moment Moose NFTs, these NFTs give you access to airdrops uh, they give you some special access and rights and things to do in events. Uh, and in the future also, every node operator for the ELK mainnet will be required to stake one Moose NFT. Now the Moose NFTs are already sold out, but you have a chance right now to go on a five day holiday with Rolf, the original legendary number zero Moose NFT. You can win this holiday with Rolf by participating in ELK season if you get him, you cannot keep him, but you will be receiving some airdrops and you will also get to keep a, a other NFT as a reminder. So final unique feature, Elk is also planning to implement a stablecoin. This will be based on gyroscopic design. Now I'm going to be very honest, I do not yet understand what it is, uh, but I'm sure that when more information comes out, I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, as far as I know, this is not accessible to everyone yet, maybe to a few uh, strongholders of Elk in uh, testing. But anyway, that's it for now. If you're not yet signed up for the Elk season, I would definitely recommend you do. It's quite easy to get at least a couple points and that will just get you some airdrops. Uh, elk either on Matic or on FX or on both. Uh, plus the chance to win Rolf. Also, just give it a try as an AMM. Uh, maybe start farming on it. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how you enjoy it. Um, but like I said, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. And goodbye.